Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to set up um, Sandy in UChat. So here we go to the mini apps and then you go to the install app. Uh, you need to find the Sandy and then select the Sandy app. Alright, right now still not published but later on you can see it will list it in the mini app list. So right now uh, we have a action, an action about create subscribers, unsubscribe, delete subscriber, subscription status, and active subscriber count. And maybe in the later on update we uh, create another API like uh, if you want to uh, plan how uh, several template later on. So like right now, it's only have uh, this kind of action only. So what you need, you just proceed to install. And then uh, there is no API key because uh, this Sandy is a different type of uh, authentication that needed. But I will show you how to overcome this problem. So right now, you just click save. Okay. So after you have uh, installed your Sandy, uh, you need to go to your chatbot. Like uh, for example, right now I'm um, using Domino's Pizza. It's a template, uh, default template from the chat. And you, you just need to go to the content and then you select bot field. Okay, here in bot field, I created another folder uh, just only for the Sandy. You need to put some variable new new field two to three field like the first one is you need to enter your domain your installation um sandy all right so i put the value is uh, right for example my sandy is on this link Okay, no need uh, slash, just a uh, plain uh, link URL, and then you uh, maybe you can put some uh, description about this. This is domain for installation Sandy, and this is Sandy domain or installation URL. So you just need click to click save and then uh, another field is you need to put some uh, verification uh, authentication like api key and also in type of the text uh, say the value is this then i click save then the next one is the list, Sandy list. You might want to list several lists uh, here uh, if you have several lists. But uh, in this example, I will just put uh, one uh, list only. So the values is value of the ID is this. Uh, when you get this ID, uh, this ID is here. When you click view all list. You can see all uh, the maybe you have several lists here. You can just copy this uh, ID lah. So where do you uh, also where do you get the Sandy API key? If you log in your Sandy account and you click the settings, and you we will see the your API key is here. So you just need to copy the API key, and then you paste in the field uh, that we have lah. So let's say you have a uh, API key, you paste in this area, and then you, if you have a uh, several list of um, several list of Sandy, you just need to label uh, to separate it. All right. Okay. Next, we go to our flow. So after we set up three field, for example, so you just need to go to your flow where you want to put some action about it so let's say i just want to put some example 
here. Uh, no, no. Maybe here. So maybe I want to after the customer fill in the blank like we get the information about the email so we want to forward that email into the sandy we want put, we want to put that email as a subscribe list so we just uh, get the integration and click the sandy and here you can fill uh, you can select some action that you want let's say in this case we want to create subscribers Okay, in here, it will uh, list down several um, details that the uh, sending one. So the first one is the URL, you know, uh, sendy, domain sendy. We set up it earlier. Second one is the API, sendy API key. And then this is a username, your, your user subscriber name. Let's say we just save it from user name. And then user email also, when, we, when you get your user details. And this one is a list ID we set up earlier also in the board field. So we just call it back. Uh, this one maybe uh, you see your catch maybe you have specific country for your subscribers also you can use some uh, uh, fill you can collect it user IP is uh, not is uh, optional user country also optional user referral also optional GDPR also optional bypass double optioning okay but what is this so this is when when you have sandy you can put it as a double option in or you can just use single option in what this means is when you put this as as a true if your list is in double option in it will bypass that part that uh, the user need to confirm for the subscription so if you put this uh, as a this field as a true, it will go to single option instead of go to the double option. You know? All right. So plain text response. This one is will uh, when you re send request, some of the requests sent to the sandy your sandy installation, uh, it will come up with the status. So every status will come out with the plain text when you put this feel as a true so I just put it as true so I need to mapping this field to go to the uh, I forgot about uh, the, to create the another field so uh, actually we just need to click save first okay we go to the content uh, and then we uh, create another field. You just need to create a uh, sandy status. So we just defeat the bank. Sorry, this is a user field. The status for the specific user. So you need to put it as a status user. Send it Screen safe. So when you go back to your flow, and select the action, and edit back the mapping, just go to the status. So we can get the value from the response. Okay, what kind of value of response actually? So exactly, it's like uh, this. When you create, uh, you send, you send uh, some res uh, request to your Sandy uh, app. It will uh, come with a response like a plain text is here. It will state like a true success. 
uh, and some areas uh, it will uh, appear like uh, some fields are missing, API key not passed, invalid API key, and so on. So this is mean what by the true value for the uh, response, plan text response. All right. So I just click save and update, and I want to test this. So let's say I want to go to my messenger. Okay, here is my uh, messenger, uh, my page. So I just click get started. Okay, I just, uh, I just go on this process. Want to put some uh, order delivery. Add to cut. View cut. So, just check out. So, I just fill in my name and my email a phone number sorry this one is uh, an error i i forgot to remove it so the third one is uh, your email maybe i put some email that does not list yet in this here subscribe list so this one is i am testing with my uh, setup so I will remove this. Okay, let's say I remove, I delete. Okay, so I just add my email back. And then, so this one is uh, a process uh, you generate uh, payment URL also and send your user email into your uh, sending so you will see if it works or not so if this message is come out actually it's included the process we put the sending you put the your email into the sending so let's say I refresh it yeah, yeah. so it's been it has been subscribed so this email has been subscribed so that's all for the sandy setup so you just need to work and play around with the sandy mini app you can select some of the action listed here okay thank you